And then I was like, not me, I'm married. Alright. Well, and we are back. So. First time we've been back in like four weeks. Congratulations, everyone. We finally we've made it. We've actually made it to a part two. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so as you guys moment. start to move down the pier of Elp, heading back to the expensive <coughs> area where that ends at, eventually you make your way there and are surprised to see that Baron Connor are already outside waiting, currently talking amongst themselves. Connor eventually like moving Bear away from him after Bear moves too close. As you guys start to get closer and closer. But, you man, said just, that I could lick it off your nose. I was like, no, no, bear, bear, no, not my nose. I was talking about the man at the bar. You're not listening, bear. You're using your imagination. You're playing Speaking hard of, to get, Connor. Connor's like, bear, for the last time we are not getting together, you and I, he says. <laughs> I understand. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lose it, bear. He says, bear, just drink your alcohol. And pass out so that way we can drag you back. Oh, there has too many stomachs. He won't pass out. <laughs> uh, man, it's, um, it's like, are we interrupting it? something? Uh, Connor, oh, no, oh, no. Just, just, he says, just oh. sit back and enjoy the show. It's like, does anyone want some mail? And he shows he's got his mug up. He's like, anyone want to see a beer? Okay, Hello. well, before we do that, I kind of. Yes. <laughs> something about ale. Um, I kind of usher over to, uh, Naomi. So, um, Bear, Connor, this is Naomi. She's joining our adventuring group. Oh, you're so cute. She rushes over to Bear. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, He's too drunk right now to understand what's happening. <laughs> I guess he, like, falls to the ground. Oh, <laughs> save me! <laughs> <laughs> Connor starts laughing at him. He's like, "Bear, bear, what? You're just being taken over by a tiny little love girl." He's like looking at him, laughing at him, pointing his mug, you know, jeering. Hey, what are you drinking? Oh, this is some mead from Barley's. It's kind of shit to be fair, but it's more like a come down drink than it is more like a pick me up. Says, "Would you like some?" And he pulls out his mug. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you, you walk over to him. He's like, "Oh." He'll like walk over to you. He'll get like close to you. He'll look at your face. He's like, wait, wait, wait. How old are you? You look younger than my daughter. <laughs> is is there an actual drinking limit? <laughs> no. I don't know. No. <laughs> I'm not at my I'm not at my limit yet, and I do know what my limit is. No, no, no. Like no, no, like an wise. age limit. Is there an age oh, restriction? Who knows? <laughs> It doesn't matter legally. He doesn't I'm, care about it. I'm asking it. since it should be one of the common laws that we all should know. No, I already said no. Okay, okay, okay all right. You don't care about legal Yeah, laws. it's fine. It's more like a parental thing. He's like, oh, I wouldn't <laughs> want my daughter drinking if she was your age. Well, well how old is your daughter? And he looks at you. He says, hmm. Wait, she's tw Wait, no, that's a trick question. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> he says, he's like, you answer first. And then he holds up to his fingers. He's like, God, he's like pointing behind him. He's like two fingers and then two more fingers. I'm considered an adult. He's like, all right. All right. He's like, that's all right, sugar. Here, here you go. Just bottom it up. And he would kind of like lean over to you and like touch it into your mouth a little bit. He's like, not too much. It's got a really shitty taste. She holds on to it, but continues gulping it. <laughs> and then he'll like pull back. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. I can't have you drinking all of my ale. You can have some of Bear's next. Roll a strength check. <laughs> strength? Crystal, oh. please. Now please roll keep your her. Plus a D10. Yeah. Wait, strength, not con? No. This is you holding strength. onto the mug because he's trying to take it away from you. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> Let me see I'm going to laugh if Naomi. Oh, oh, she's most Probably definitely probably stronger super than strong. Oh, with that role, I'm not surprised if she is. Yeah, yeah. Connor's not very strong. He's never been the strong type. He's very bookish. We'll see the modifier. 
Where is it? I can't find it. It's a chip very not a die roll. It's the strength yeah. plus a D10. Oh, it's yeah. D10 plus... Yeah, you, uh, yeah so macro. <laughs> Oh. Huh? With a couple of effort, you you have to put in some work and some elbow grease, but you're able to wrench it out of her hand eventually. It's like, no, that's enough. Kind of at you. He's like, he's like, not too much. He says, he's like, oh, it's nice to meet you, by the way. Uh, I am Connor uh, from the village of the Snowwalkers. Oh, nice to meet you too. Hold out to say it. He's like, how are you doing? She shakes your hand. Oh, right. We haven't... Do you know our names? As I point to myself and Kronk. Oh, uh, yes. I think I know your names. You're I'm Adze talking to Naomi. Kronk. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I know I this good answer. His name is Adze, and his name is Kronk Kronk. No, Kronk's like, no, man, you're pointing at the wrong ones. <laughs> you yes, I've heard of Adze. <laughs> okay, cool. He lost That's... his leg while fighting a dragon. <laughs> Connor starts laughing. <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, no. He didn't lose his leg. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, rem I remember really that time there. when he passed out because he got bit by an ant. <laughs> Connor's like, listen here, uh, little lady. Girl, you haven't heard, but I'd say he could not find a dragon. He starts laughing more. <laughs> I mean, could someone that lost a leg be able to kick a ball this well? Quick, Adze, here! He rolls a rock to you, to your gun leg. Naomi? Um... Yes? Uh... Bear quickly rolls to the other side of Adze and then flicks the rock from behind him so it looks like it's... <laughs> You're, uh... Mm, I'm so happy. You're free to, um, you know, if you ever have any regrets, you're free to, you know, leave there, if there you There are no regrets to. in this company. <laughs> oh, I have no regrets. I've wanted to do this ever since my mother read me the story of the Defenders of the Future. <laughs> As he's looking at, I mean, uh, Connor's looking at Ed's like, stop being oh, so no. <laughs> oh, no. This is gonna get... <laughs> I killed him. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Continue on. <laughs> oh my god. So somewhere along the line, I missed it. <laughs> But anyway, like, Connor is, uh, he's like, Bear, come over here. He's like, forget about the lag. We're not supposed to talk about that, remember? <laughs> and he's looking over at Nari. He's oh, you're a new friend of, he, he looks over at Zay's, And he's like, are you interested in him? And he's giving Crystal, like, a wary look. He's like, I got you, girl. Interested in who? I'd say, you know, uh, I don't want to get involved, but to get involved. He's as kind he, of with someone Connor's already. Connor's saying that, like, a moment of recognition goes over Thomas. And <laughs> he's now starting to understand as he just glares towards Adze. Ah, <laughs> As he looks back at him confused. <laughs> looks back at everyone else confused. Not exactly... It, he does not even consider what, what you are implying. Alright, Kronk's, Kronk's gonna go over to Ads and he's like, don't worry about Ads, hey guys. I'm gonna grab his butt and he's like, he has no interest in Naomi. Oh, that's good. Cause and then he kind of looks at, like Naomi with like a little bit of steel in his eyes. Cause he's taken already. He what? says. What? What's he <laughs> he then goes what? over to Crystal what? and he gives a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> I'm interested in all of you. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh. He, 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 Huh? His hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> hand. Yes, you're the party I've been looking for for so long. She's too naive. I love her. <laughs> well, it depends. Do you have hairy nipples? 
I was waiting for that. I'm sorry. Oh, what? There. She's a woman. <laughs> just looks at him with like a palm. Oh. Don't be so rude. You know, I'm a bear the had the hairiest of nipples. I don't know what you mean. He looks up like crystals are white. No, he's like, oh, I got it. <laughs> Crunk? I'm to look at all this. <coughs> hey, Crunk? Yeah? Don't do that again, please. Don't do what? Don't... Don't... Don't touch my butt, please. Yes, is it normal for you, you want me to, to let go? touch buttocks? <laughs> You're still holding on. <laughs> Let's do a little squeeze. <laughs> I'm going to Apparently push myself away. Apparently it's normal for Crunk Crunk. He likes to do it every now and then. But don't do it. We're, we're, that's it's not. It's not normal. Kronk, stop. Oh, oh, but it's only for males. Right, only for males. <laughs> it's, oh, I see. It's don't worry. Don't look too much into it. Kronk, can you please let go of my butt? You sure? Yes. Uh, Thank you. Let go. I hobble away from you. Okay, let's just head inside, please. Connor kind of goes, no. Nah. He's like, hey, anyone want some nachos? They're barley's world famous. Trust me, amazing. It's got this stuff, it's kind of liquid, and it's hot. It's like cheese. <sighs> I just want to head back into Iron Jaw, just get this over with. <laughs> oh, I got a business first. Much as, yes, we, we have to do business. Kind of Wraps his arm around Bear. He's like, off we go, Bear. As you all begin to head back inside, you see the very familiar, prudent face of <coughs> the Earth Ring that you met last when you came here. His head down, reading a book, glasses currently precariously rested upon his snout as he brings up one large claw to gingerly and elegantly Flip one page over before resting in on himself, reading further. Hello, Mr. Ironjaw. How are you? You still owe us 200 gold for your damages. Connor looks over at Edze with a disapproving look, and he says, This young fellow, in such debt already. He shakes his head. <laughs> what damages? Oh, the ones that this guy caused, and he kind of points at Bear. <laughs> Bear? Oh, oh. Gub Gub did it. <laughs> no, he did not. He just looks yeah. down. <laughs> Colin's looking. He's like, "Yeah, but I distinctly remember you barreling through the door to get to Gup Gup." Right. Um. We're we're working on that. In the meantime, uh, can you tell Miss uh, Stoneheart that we're in the lobby for her? And here, as I hand him the payment, like, next next time you have a problem with these guys, come find me. Yes. <laughs> As he takes the payment, yes. he then eventually puts the book down and begins to thumb through the pieces before counting up the 200. And That is there. He does a kind of like not bad face with his snout, which looks kind of awkward, but he nods. <laughs> Taking his glasses off and putting them gingerly on the counter before scooping the gold into a small chest that's behind it. She's apparently waiting for you to meet her in her room. Connor gives like a ooh. We have visitation rights to the room, and he leans over to Croc, gives him a little fist bump. He's like, Croc. Which room is it? Yeah, she's expecting us to visit her. Does Kronk fist bump Connor? It's room 11. Please say yes. Alright. 
thank you. Is that uh, up the stairs here? It would be, yes. All right. Thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure. And I'm going to start making my way to the stairs. Hopefully, kind of, kind of my crutch just helps himself. Okay, As maybe not with this bumping car. He puts out a paw to stop Kronk Kronk and says through the side of his face, it's like, make sure not to cause any more trouble. And don't worry. Bear's not going to cause any trouble. Right, Bear? Oh, okay. Kinda looks at Bear. Bear, no more trouble. Or I promise I will not take you whoring next time. Oh, oh. As Iron Jaw gives, gives him like a, a stern, stern nod. And let's go of Kronk. Okay. Do I make it up the stairs? I want to help you. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll be right behind I'll, pushing you. Yeah, yeah like I'll like... I'll put I'll put my hand up to say like, wait, let me see if I could do it. <laughs> and I'm gonna start making my way up. Connor's like at the bottom of the stairs. He's got like his He doesn't even roll anything. He just <laughs> failed. <laughs> it's alright. Alright. Kronk's gonna seductively oh. catch him. Yeah. Uh, Connor's got like his beer in one hand, his food in one hand. He's standing at the bottom of the stairs. He's like, he's like, it's okay, Ante, we'll catch you. He's like, someone hold this. Look behind him, no one's there. He's like, we'll catch you. Oh my god. Okay, so as I'm just looking up at Krog, okay, thank you. Can you help me? Can I? Can Can you pick me up now? Can I just? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All I'm right. I, okay. Yeah, I'm using the railing to get up. <clears throat> okay. All right, uh, I'm gonna need some help here. I'll help you. No, not a problem. I prefer the crystal did it. Thanks, Kronk. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Started you know Thank you. <laughs> All right, help me up. Fun is like, guys, oh god, these stairs are wobbling. Make it up the stairs. You finally find yourselves in front of room eleven, and after a small succession of knocks. The door opens as Kala Stoneheart stands there, armor taken off and looking to be wearing a nobleman's tunic and trousers. As she gives you an affirmative nod, her hair tied up in a tight bun behind her head, and gestures you to come in after she walks in first. Cool. Thank you. I will kind of follow uh, myself in. Probably being the last one to enter the room, since he was like behind everyone. And when he does, he'll like close the door with his foot, still got his stuff in one hand, and he'll say very loudly, "Uh, before we begin, uh, I think I should say something to you, Miss Strongheart." And uh, he'll like walk forward a little bit to like grab her attention, and he's looking at her. It's like it seems we got off on the wrong foot before. He says, "I was drunk at the time." Takes a sip of his ale, <laughs> and uh. uh. <coughs> Oh God! I no, hate hiccups no, right now. no. Okay, Adze's gonna start grabbing Connor. I'm like, Connor. Con going. Connor looks at Adze. He says, "Shoo you!" <laughs> just kind of pushes him off. A Connor, bit. roll it on a strength check. <laughs> oh. Okay. Are you stronger than a cripple? Find Probably out next not. time. Probably not. <laughs> I'm, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm not very strong, and I'm trying to hold on to my stuff. But you don't go grabbing on to people. That's weird. You're not Kronk. Yeah, that's right. I have every right to grab onto people. <laughs> yeah, Connor's like, Adze, relax a moment. Then he says, Miss Strongheart, uh, your words last time we met kind of gave me an affront. I believe you were being uh, a bit biased towards my friend in his color of skin, he says, and he points to Adze with his mug. please, shut up. But uh, it's come to my attention in theirs as well, since they've kind of explained it to me. But that was not the case, and so I offer you my apologies. Uh, ale or chips? And sees, he says, pointing towards his nachos. After you finish the very... Uh, I forget the word. Long-winded apology. She looks you with a very astute, like, unchanging face. Very well, apology accepted. What is it exactly that you needed me for? She turns to look over the group as a whole, seemingly 
accepting and washing off the apology as frigid as a carnage is expect to act. Expected to act. Alright. I'm gonna look to Kronk. I think you should probably go first since you're all the business. Yeah. Is Thomas with us, by the way? We'll say for this why not. encounter, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll say Thomas and Gub Gub didn't come. Oh, okay. What are, I'm what sorry are they doing that? We're not even just getting them off at something. All right. We'll, we'll leave it at that then. Well, my crew is telling me that you're in you're in town looking for the the gang brothers. She just gives a nod and waits for you to continue. So happen to have an informant on the inside from one of them. Well, previous on the inside. He no longer works for them anymore. Where is this person? He's not with us at this time. Waiting outside. We don't know. We actually don't know. Connor looks at Matt. waiting outside. <laughs> Gives him a point look. He's waiting outside. <laughs> He's waiting outside. <laughs> what is his position in the order or group banditry squirm? Well, he was about to mug us, so I'm guessing pretty low down on the thing, but I'm pretty sure he knows a few things. As you say that, she kind of looks at you pointedly. Connor starts biting his nails. Well, it's true. <laughs> it is. And we convinced him the error of his ways, and he's agreed to help us. Convinced? Yeah. How exactly did you manage that? I look over Kronk. <laughs> I have uh, more uses for my tongue than just speaking. I managed to convince him that... Oh, okay. <laughs> leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I wasn't the only one, Philip. Glad I wasn't the only one. I may have messed that up, so I'm rolling over it. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to... I have more than one use than just speaking with my tongue, and that's how I convince them. Which means I convince them not yeah. through speaking <laughs> with my yeah. tongue. Yeah, <laughs> it was bad. It was very, it was very bad. <laughs> so yeah, she looks at you with very, very apparent concern at that. <laughs> Oh, that I messed up. <laughs> I missed <laughs> to convince him to the Arabic way. He have had a little bit of my ale. He gives like him a little wink. He's like, "I got you, Kronk." No, no, I have. <laughs> he says <laughs> she doesn't know that. I know that, but she doesn't. Any points of anyway. <laughs> Come down to the point that you will help us, and for this endeavor, and for the said bounties, any share that we would receive, he would receive part of that as well. So you're paying a bandit. You're paying an ex-bandit, and teammate. You're paying someone that hasn't rightfully been judged for its crimes. Connor looks at the Carnes woman and he's like giving a small nod of his head like this woman got sense. Yeah. But do you know what crimes this person has committed? Obviously enough to turn to a life of banditry to bandit you on the highway. People with consciences don't make sensible decisions like that, likely. People in troubled time also make those kind of decisions. then he would have no qualms for paying his debt to society for the crimes he's done. 
and he already has. And he, well, he is doing that by helping us. Connor's like, to be has. realistic, uh, we didn't take him to jail. He kind of gives a nod, looks at you guys. Kind of stands on her side for a second, faces you people. He's, he's already paid his debt and has been since released. Gives a skeptical look. I do not know the means of this release nor your people personally but as far as I am concerned in the Empire banditry is illegal and can be seen as a deathable offense or one that requires jailing not a change of heart now I am not your leader nor am I personally a vanguard of the Empire so what you say here doesn't leave beyond me but note I don't accept this fair enough Connor kind of timidly looks at her and is like I can't believe I'm saying this but I agree Each to their own, unfortunately. However, I also wanted to come to you to know what your intentions were to do with the gang brothers. If there's something we can work with that we can agree to, perhaps we can work together. She looks at you, closes her eyes, and puts her arms behind her back. If we probably had seen closer eye to eye, I think there might have been something. <sighs> criminals are criminals, and if they don't want to be, they can let the law decide that for them. Connor gets like a little skeptical. Choices. He made the choice to be a criminal. Only the law has a proper means to absolve him. Oh boy. Now, I unfortunately can't speak for everyone. Everyone has their own circumstances. <laughs> but... We can at least agree on one thing, that the leaders at least need to be taken down. If you truly want him to be spoken for, you can bring him to me, and I can absolve him for... If he truly thinks he wants Absol justice. Absolve him how? She reaches into her shirt... From the center of it, she reveals... Connor covers his eyes. I'm sorry, I'm married. Oh my god. An icon on an item. Owl? Do you worship the Nine Towers? He does, yeah. Does I worship. keep saying it. Whether I know what the icon of Owl looks like is... I guess can be up in the air. You're, you're the one who's prominently... the Talons, you would know it's... Owl. It follows Owl in particular, so... <laughs> you do follow Owl in particular? Yeah. I've, I've said that in particular, Owl. Then yes, and it then is Crystal a, um... supposedly worships the Nine Talon. Supposedly. Yeah, I mean... Supposedly. One... We've seen no evidence. <laughs> I can't well, confirm Owl nor deny. Owl is one deny. of the more it's familiarized just ones. Right. So, yeah. yeah. It's a... A weighing scale that's balance on a sphere that represents the world. It is the symbol of Owl. Yeah. I am a librarian. And I was sent What's a here for the task of guarding their innocence or not. Oh. Sorry, listen. Uh. Her says, the envoys of the Empire. 
No. I'm the envoy of Owl. Hmm. And how uh, does that's that one of the talents, work? right? He says. Looks at you guys. Right, but how does that work, though? Is it going to only judge what he's done? Does it judge what he could do? What he can do? It judges him for the crimes that he's being placed against. And what about his own reprimand for the crimes if he has committed any? If he truly finds himself repented, then there would be no issue. Well, I'd have to go talk to him, but I unfortunately have to let him know what's going to happen. It is your own choice and your own hearts that you put weight on. Well, he deserves the right too. Criminal or not, he's still alive. I was not judging his right. But, as far as I'm concerned, I can't with a good heart be willing to work with people that can work with criminals without having them absolve. I'm sorry. If there's anything else you need from me, I can see what I can do. Well, I, my main thing is kind of, in particular, me. I don't know if anyone else has any other stuff they'd like to talk with her about. Go for it, Adze. Philip. It's Everyone kind of... Speaking at the moment, I can't tell. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, it's kind of um, personal. Do you guys mind stepping out for a little bit? Connor gives you, oh. like, a little glare. He's like, what about Crystal? It's not that. Connor, you can leave. He gives you a fun look. He's like, well, everyone's stepping out. Opens the door. Close it up. I'll go see what I can do with our informant. All right. Once I will leave off for him. <coughs> Connor whist- whistles. <laughs> Bam! Wow. <laughs> Come on. It's like, get off the lady's bed, Bear. Hey, Naomi, you're you're good at watching things, right? Um, maybe. Maybe? All right. Keep an eye on Bear. Make sure he doesn't destroy anything. Why? Is he prone in doing so? Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he says as he turns and bumps into a pedestal that has some... Uh, oh my god. On as it just starts uh. to wobble. <laughs> Come on, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! He'll like try and catch it in like the crook of his arms. He's got beer in one hand, food in the other hand, he's trying to like, catch it with his skull storms. <laughs> Oh my oh, god! Sorry. <laughs> Bear hasn't <laughs> drank this much since Bear got on ship with new friends. <laughs> He's like, oh, Bear, we're not done yet, he says. Bottoms up. <sighs> no, get it. Let's go. Please. <clears throat> yeah, as the rest of the people begin to leave, Adze, you stand there alone. Kala, currently having her head the only thing in movement, watching the group leave. The rest of her body stand, standing straight and unmoving as her emerald eyes lock onto your frame, waiting for you to ask what it is you needed privacy for. So, um... I actually know a little bit about Owl, just, just just a little bit from what I remember as a kid. 
Um, I was actually adopted by the Engel family. Do you know them? No. Oh, okay. Have you by any chance heard anything about an Eva Engel around here? An Eva Engel. Yeah. What's the importance of this person to you? Sister. I can feel the skepticism even though I'm not there. <laughs> I can't say that I've have heard of anyone like this. Alright. Well, I'm assuming you're telling me the truth, so... Thank you, um, anyway. So you haven't heard anything, like, from a... How about a Nina angle? Like, she's pretty up there when it comes to the I came from Alexandra. Okay. I traveled on the main ship for all my life. If these are your family members, I am assuming that they no longer travel with the fleets. So their knowledge of location or how they're doing is beyond me. I apologize. Okay. Uh, thank you. Anyway. Alright, I guess that was more or less it. I have someone else working on my, uh, replacement leg, and I assume... I'm, I wouldn't ask you to make me a new prosthetic. That will be very forward of me. So, um... Also, it's very rude of me to think that every Karnas knows how to, you know, build things, so... Okay, well, in that case, um... Thank you for your time. I'm sorry we couldn't really come to an uh, agreement. Um, I guess uh, not every deal is supposed to go through. Al's blessing, not on everyone. Unfortunately, no. No. I suggest you sit with yourself and really think on the decisions you made. Being a follower of Owl, I'm sure you'll find peace with that. Right. Librarian, is that like an order of Owl? This is Adzix asking her that. <laughs> Some members that wield Owl's presence in our very being. We do what he wants, and we travel through place to place to absolve those who are guilty or punish those that don't want to absolve it. Okay, so if our friend doesn't want to be guilty anymore and wants to really absolve for everything he's done, that thing you want to do will pull through? It's something within my power. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk with him. Thank you for your time, uh, Miss uh, Stoneheart. I'll uh, talk to you maybe later. Thank you. So I start so making my way out. She puts a hand on your like arm. I apologize for my lack of help that I was for your family. I do hope you find peace. Thank you. She nods and removes her hand and then takes a step back to give your personal space back. Alright. Have a good night. <laughs> it's night, right? Yes. Yeah, have a good night as I open the door and step out. Where is everyone? <laughs> as you step out, you just see Bear rolling on the ground, everyone trying to stop him. Connor's trying to catch her anything that has, a, like, on a pedestal that could be falling. <laughs> and Naomi's just sitting there, it's like, kind of entertained by all this. <laughs> Connor's like, Bear, Bear, please, please stop. No, no. Oh god, you're gonna make me spill. And he kind of looks at you. Don't! Both of his Connor! Like, Connor, Wait, Connor, you're feeling it? Get out of the... 
building right now. It's okay. Please I'm good. Please wait till I'm we good. get outside. Let's just make our way out before we cause any damage. Listen, the like, world is spinning, guys. As I go to make my way down the stairs, <laughs> if I can. Let Connor me leans help. on Adze. Adze, help me out. Oh wait, no. sorry, sorry, forgot, forgot. Yeah. Just looks over at you. It's just what? Look on his face. Do I make it down the stairs at the very least? Oh, you can make them down, really. Easy. As you're there, like getting ready to get Bear going, and you're already moved ahead. You guys just finally stop Bear from rolling around and get ready. As Naomi is the first one to hear it, and the rest of you finally do. But Naomi, you just hear boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh no. Kind of looks over. Adze, you okay? You just see his crutch spinning in place and then it eventually falls down. <laughs> oh Adze? no! And Naomi will run after. To yeah, help you I'm, up. Gonna, I'm gonna run over, help him up too. Yeah, uh, Connor will grab his crutch. He'll kind of bend down to get it. Oh, almost fall over a little bit. Oh, the world is spinning. Someone get. <laughs> Connor out of here, please, along with Bear. He grabs it. <sighs> Says, Bear, come on. Adze, here you go. He'll walk over to Adze, kind of tilting his head. Adze oh, is down crunch. the staircase. His head is just spinning. And Adze is your spinning head. You start to see shapes flying around. Oh, no. <laughs> and one of them seems familiar that looks at you and kind of chuckles before flying through the wall. Around the time Crystal comes down to get your attention. Are you alright? You see I'm looking at a space on the wall. Kind of sneering. I'm fine. I'm fine. Can you help me up? Yeah. Thanks. You shouldn't try to do stuff like that just yet. I know. I know. We'll work on it. I promise. You'll be okay. Sure, sure. I think I'm good from here, though. So. You know, I'm a good height for you to rest your arm on if you need to balance yourself. <laughs> just smiles over at Naomi. Thank you, Naomi, but I, I, I'm good. Thanks. I promise you, I'm much sturdier than I look. <laughs> Naomi, it's fine. It's it's not it's not you. You're 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 okay. Don't worry about it. Connor walks over and he puts his arm over. I could use the help, to be honest. He smells lovely, like alcohol. Oh yeah, yeah. He <laughs> smells like a bure, uh, brewery in a winery had a baby, and then someone threw up inside of it. No, that's fair. <laughs> I don't know, bear smells no, like piss. piss. <laughs> and pickles. Piss and pickles. <laughs> so as you all begin to make your way outside, you see at the outside, looking at like the entrance of the inn and whatnot, Thomas and Gub Gub looking to be in a heated argument. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Is he gonna start making his way over there quickly? Am I not there yet? You are like yeah, the most busy body. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, probably book it over there <laughs> once. Can we hear what they're arguing about? Yes, Connor will you listen. You daft little gray-skinned beast! You don't even know what you're talking about. Gub Gub does know what he's talking about. Gub Gub's even seen it himself. Oh bullshit! Uh oh. What are you two talking about? The legendary pebble of Gamagora. I've only heard tales of it before. Shut up, Connor. What's going on here? Sorry. This little shit's trying to say that he's seen my kind lose against him. I mean... And then I'm pretty sure someone somewhere of your kind also won against him as well. For now, Thomas, we have more important matters we need to talk no, about. No, it's true. Gub Gub, he's named after ancient, ancient, awesome crux who was so strong that he was able to kick people out of existence. 
<laughs> so I think is that's true out of character. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's so dumb, good. Dumb. If you want if you want people to like you more, you gotta learn when to stop. But Gum Gum's not lying! It doesn't matter. Do you do you know if you're lying or not? What? Do you believe that? That you're not lying? Yeah. Then it doesn't matter what he thinks. Kinda of grumbles at that. <laughs> yeah, then a liar thinks what a liar wants. And it doesn't matter what you think. As long as you don't believe it, that's fine. Keep it between yourselves. They sigh, but eventually get over it as you intervene. Phew, good. Now, Thomas, how do you feel about being absolved of your sins? I look like a choir boy. No, not that's, quite. Ads, 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 that's not how that works. I mean, being absolved of your guilt is more like... <laughs> oh boy. We'll find out. Okay, because <laughs> if we want this whole thing to work, you're, and we want the help of the uh, Karnas woman who has a lot of resources at our disposal, we're going to need you to uh, turn over a new leaf. I already did. I ain't killing you, am I? Yeah, you, you see, there, there's, it, it, there, there's a lot more to it than that. You see, we want you to stop committing crimes it's, and... It's not so much as stopping it so much as if... A test is going to be performed to, to see whether you truly... Has re resolved and... Turned. Test? I don't take no test. It's 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 not like a written test or anything like that. You just have to stand there and take it. Stand there, take it. Yeah, you, you just. just... <laughs> I love the way that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> With my stand... silver tongue. It's the best episode, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes, it is. So many mistakes. <laughs> yes, you just like, have can to... Can we move on already? It's well, already it's... starting to get dark, and if we don't hurry up and leave or do something about my mates that's going to be running back to the rest of my group, we're going to be fucked in two days. How fucked are, you talk... are we talking about? Because, I mean, like, they're not going to, like, just attack the town. Tide's here. No, but he might get help from one of the other gang brothers. What's a gang brother? The new bad guys we're hunting after. Kind of whispers into his ear since he's currently leading. Like the gang brothers are criminal masterminds or just bad people who are having a bounty because nobody likes them and they kind of uh, do a lot of bad things. Like I'm assuming murder and pillaging, probably. He says, to be fair, I haven't heard much about them other than they have a bounty. That's really what interests me. That's what Thomas used to be. Yeah, yeah. Thomas used to be part of their gang. And, and now I ain't. Now I don't know why we're having issues about not. this again. It does quotation marks. It's, right. it's, it's just, you know, semantics. It's not going to take too long. So what? Stop talking your big fancy no needing words. <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> up to him whether he wants to do it or not but but if he, he does do I'm unfortunately can't really protect him from anyone else inside of here I'm not that strong protect me from what he says with the glare in his eye um from an avenger of owl a librarian of owl he means oh my god same thing? I mean, 
you might take that the wrong way. Oh. That <laughs> sounds pretty friend. accurate to me. So Let's see a bitch, friend. Troy. <laughs> says, sucking in some snot and spitting it to the side. Uh. Now. Let's stop wasting time. If you're done talking to your bitch, let's go. Okay. Mate. Then let's go up to her and meet her then. Yeah. So we can start talking about how we want to do this after we meet her. Yeah, no. We're just... We just... Come on, you're a big guy. You, you, you can do this. You, you just you have to... to go in there and drop a knee and be like, Oh, I'm so sorry that I killed people and took money from people that didn't need it. Now, listen, I joined you because you have the gumption enough to tell me that you're ready to take out the Gank Brothers, and I believed you. This is not taking out the Gank Brothers, this is wasting time. I agree with him. If he doesn't want to take it, we're just wasting time. If he doesn't right. want to do it. Well, let's all get out of here then. Anthony doesn't know how to feel about this. We'll find out when we get out of here. Con Connor feels like he's making a deal with the devil, but no one asked. I do want him to take it and do it, but if he doesn't want to, we can't force him. Right, we can't. It's the law, though. Right. So, yeah. are, are we leaving the inn then? Yeah. Where do you guys All like right. to go next? To your time skip? No. Yes. Damn no. it. No. We gotta take care of this problem. You know we do. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, so Kronk's gonna attempt to grapple Thomas when we get out. <laughs> oh, what? sweet oh, Christmas, shit. yes. Connor's ready for this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Hey, uh, we tried. What are you guys trying to convince him to do? I'm trying well, to convince him to be convince good, him but to go along finally, with this willingly, but these morons have come to their senses. I thought you were... Oh, no. He blatantly just said he doesn't... Like, yeah. he doesn't care. <laughs> like, he hasn't turned at all. Mm -hmm. He's but... still a criminal. He's... He's basically going to go back after we're done with this. Okay, that's not gonna... what I want. Can I talk? Uh, okay. You, you, do you well, want to You can to do after, after, after he grabs us. <laughs> you can talk to all of us. I mean, what you can do it? initiative if you want. See if you're faster. Oh, I was going to do it before we left. <laughs> oh, well, if we're going to do it before we left, then fine. Yeah, fine. Besides, she can't lose against you. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> So, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand. Did you redeem yourself or not? Do I look like I need redemption? A little bit. <laughs> he looks at her with a raised brow. You don't even know me yet. I know, but you're a little scary looking. Connor, oh. Connor gives her like a nod. You're telling me he was very rude when we first met. And he was super scary. Like, I was a little bit afraid, he says. Good. Being scary in a world like this gets you alive longer. But you can be scary and be good. <coughs> Connor nods. Don't you want to be a good person? <laughs> Roll a diplomacy. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it's about the first skill check in the game. Hey! Holy crap, that's so good. <laughs> that's awesome, actually. I have to roll a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she gonna roll a frickin' ten? Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> That's how it always works. That is usually how it works. Just cause I don't wanna... I'm not a good pa- No. 
Fuck you! He says as he turns around and walks back up to the inn. Uh, Fuck you, I say I'm like not a good person. <laughs> I am a good person. You okay. can be a good person and then you'll be a good person. <laughs> He's storming up towards the inn. Okay, um, I'm gonna start making my way with them because I, I have a feeling like... Oh, my cronk, 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 I, I, I think we need to, you know, follow, just make sure nothing happens. Connor oh, sighs. Yeah, I, I played on that, yeah. Connor sighs super heavily, uh, goes over to Iron Jaw, drops his plate that's like half eaten, and his mug of beer, and then he looks back at him, watch this, turns to go up the stairs, comes back, grabs his mug of beer, I'm taking this with me, goes back up the stairs. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna go ahead and take our second break. <laughs> Naomi, you're badass. I love you. <laughs> so thank Great. you guys for watching. We're going to go ahead and take a second break. We'll be back in about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll see you guys back around that time. So thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Peace. I'm so happy we had the intervention with the Corns woman. <laughs> Fuck you, Kronk. You're not going to grapple shit. <laughs> I didn't want to trick him into it. That was the thing. Yes. Yeah. So you're gonna force him? <laughs> no. I was yeah, gonna go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you should have done a while.